There can never be anything between me and Chad. We come from two totally different worlds. He, he doesn't even know the meaning of the word family. And family means everything to me. I am my mother's daughter through and through. And I'm not? You're the one doing the accusing here, Simone. I am simply defending myself. I don't fool around. And I am proud of the fact that I am a goody two-shoes. Just like mom was when she was our age. And I'm not about to let a guy like Chad, who thinks he is God's gift to women, interfere with my life and ruin my career. When the time is right, when I want someone in my life, it's going to be someone rock solid like Daddy. <laughs> not someone like Chad, who has zero goals and no future. Chad Harris is the last person in this world I would ever think about falling for. <clears throat> Chad, Chad, I'm sorry you had to hear that, but ignore her. Whitney is always saying awful things like that. I want you to know that I do not feel that way. Not at all. Chad's hurt. You have to say something. You can't let him think that's how you really feel. I'm glad you have no interest in Chad, but did you have to put him down like that? I think you really hurt him. Simone, I didn't mean it the way that it came out. I, I didn't know he was going to hear me. Well, he did, and I just hope he's okay. Chad, I don't feel like my stuck-up sister does. I think you're great. I think you're a strong, upstanding, caring guy with an awesome future ahead of you. You okay, man? Yeah, sore, sore, man. I'm all right. Look, right, right now, I don't care how Whitney feels about me, okay? Just because we hung out a little bit don't mean we're friends. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry my sister hurt you. She didn't! All right? It, look, no uptight little rich girl can hurt me. Come on. I'm glad you're okay, Chad. Most people say they don't care what other people think, but then they really do. And I admire you because you really don't care what other people think. Because you're so secure. And you're your own man. And that's a really good thing. Yeah. Sure, whatever you say, Simone. Excuse me? I'll be right back. I'm glad Chad heard Whitney dissing him. Now maybe he and I can get started on our own future together. I think tonight's opera was the best we've been to all oh, this season. I totally, totally agree. That was the most incredible love story I've ever seen. You know, it reminded me of, uh, reminded me of us when we first met. I thought so too. I'm so happy that I married you, Simone, and not your sister, Whitney. That makes both of us. I love you so much. And I couldn't imagine my life without you. Imagine not having you in my life, either, Chad. What's going on? Oh, it's nothing, Simone. I, I was just about to ask the girls if they were ready to go back to Harmony. The road should be clear by now. I just have to change. Um, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I still have some packing to do. Well, I'm ready, Chad, and I can go out in the car and wait for you. We can sit next to each other on the way home. Uh, I'll be with you in just a minute. I just gotta find my CD case. 
Uh, Chad, you 